Hello, Hogzilla here again, and in today's video, I am going to cover the recently released 1.47 open beta for Euro Truck Simulator 2. I will cover what is included, along with a few personal opinion tidbits on what I think on each of the changes. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question or thought on the open beta, leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. The first item is the Adaptive Cruise Control and Emergency Braking System. When using the Adaptive Cruise Control, you set a value on the Gameplay Options screen of Distance. This distance then detects if a car is ahead of you within that said distance and will temporarily disable the cruise control until the car ahead of you has opened up that distance. The emergency braking system is used when the uh, truck detects that you're going to have a collision. This will help you in preventing costly repair bills and possible loss of value in damaged cargo. The second item is Ownable Gas Cisterns. This is a new trailer that you can purchase using the Trailer Purchase option along the right-hand side of the main screen. You purchase this just like any other trailer in the game. What I will say about this is it doesn't seem like it has as many customizable options as past new trailers, but it is appreciated that the developers are continuing to add value to the game by making more options and trailers available. The third item is Ownable Livestock Trailers. The Ownable Livestock Trailer is used to haul livestock similar to American Truck Simulator. So once again, it is a greatly appreciated value added benefit to the game. The fourth item is the Germany Rework. There are four cities that have been reworked for the Germany map. Stuttgart, Frankfurt, Nuremberg, and Effort. This is greatly appreciated that the developers are going back and reworking the base game maps. Most other companies might just put out the base game and put out some DLCs to grab some quick cash, but they'll never go back and update the base game unless it's absolutely necessary. So this is greatly appreciated that they are taking the time with, at least in my opinion, no return on investment to rework these base game maps. The fifth item is Road Bumps. This is also an item that was added to the American Truck Simulator and it's just little random bumps that occur while driving down the road at random intervals. Now, it's nothing that'll throw you off or, or disrupt your truck, but it's just another realistic game feel that the developers have added. Like I mentioned in my American Truck video, I don't think the developers took this one far enough. I would have made the bumps in some cases even more prevalent or I would even even throw in a pothole or two. The sixth item is Custom City Intros. The Custom City Intros has been something they've been rolling out the last couple of years when you create a new profile. In this case, they have updated the road to the Black Sea cities as shown here. It is greatly appreciated that they're taking time to make all the cities look good, especially when you're starting a new profile. The seventh item is the career history redesign. In my opinion, like I mentioned for American Truck Simulator, this is something that was in dire need of a definite refresh. So now you will have all your stats for your company on one screen. 
Then on the other tab, it will have all the listings of your prior deliveries in a better, more understandable detail. This is especially useful when trying to complete achievements and you might have partially started it on purpose or accidentally and you're trying to assess which requirements you've previously completed. The eighth and final item is just a miscellaneous thing I wanted to bring up is a few small changes that they included. There is a new in-game log when first coming to the profile screen. This will list uh, briefly what changes have occurred. I'm surprised they didn't have this before, but it is useful so that you are aware there was an update to the game and what was updated. The other brief item to mention is when there is an economy reset, Previously, you were always transported back to your home garage. Now you can pick whatever um, city you've already discovered to go to. Since you don't know where the high-priced jobs are, it is a roll of the dice, and you're probably going to have to teleport again once you've assessed what the high-priced jobs are. That is all for this video. If you like these kind of videos, press that like button. If you have a question or want to share your experience with the open beta, please leave a comment below and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.